Well, it started out just as a lark, really. I saw the email from the Gaelic Society, and I thought, I'm not going to do this for $50, but I'll do it for $500. Right. And I didn't really know what would happen. But then I got this overwhelming response from the Siena community. Within three days, I had over $2,000 in pledges. So then I was committed. Every 10 minutes or so, another Siena student goes up and gets his head shaved. So I think that that really speaks well of the Siena community. I haven't seen any women get their head shaved yet, though. So it's all men so far. I got cold feet last night. I was looking in the mirror and I thought, I wonder if I can back out of this, but I think it's too late for that. Without, without drawing blood. Oh, that feels good. Too late now. <laughs> Too late. Wow. I feel a draft. Is that wow. half? No, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Father Dennis. We have doctors blasting and Colasani up there. And I, I learned a special song just for that. Oh, no. And this is an honor, Dr. Blasting, especially because he is a uh, theater person, and he might recognize this song from a musical, which may, which may come as no surprise. The title of the musical is uh, Hair. Hair. Yeah. She asks me why I'm just a hairy guy. I'm a hairy guy.
done this since I was 10. Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay, so I guess I can't turn back now. That's that. It feels very cool, uh, breezy, but it's for a great cause. You know, and I think that every once in a while you have to remind yourself what's important, and hair is not important. Um, but children struggling with cancer, people struggling with cancer, they don't have a choice about this, so every once in a while we have to try to put ourselves in somebody else's shoes, and this is for a great cause, and I'm really glad I did it. Would I do it again? Uh, ask me in a couple weeks. Ask me after I go home and talk to my wife tonight, then I'll tell you. I think so. It does feel strange. It does feel odd. So it'll take me a little while to get used to it. I'm kind of flashing back. I think the last time I had this was I was about 10 years old, and my mom did it herself. So <laughs> I, I, I need a little uh, need a little downtime here. I'm gonna have to go in a, into a dark room for a while myself. <laughs>